So to start off with, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, import the picture. Okay, so yeah, this is like way too big, so I'm just gonna resize it. Now, once you have it, obviously um, you have to decide how big you want the logo to be. This is good to go. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select this layer and I'm just gonna decrease the opacity. Now, I'm just creating a layer just above the one uh, with the picture. So once you have the picture with you, I'm just gonna select the ellipse tool and I'm just going to select the colors for the fill and for the stroke as well and I'm just going to create a circle right here yes like this just going to hold the center of the circle and place it over the sketch like this I'm just going to select the ellipse tool again and I'm just going to create a circle like this I'm just going to place it over the sketching. Now what I'm going to do is I am, as I am not happy with the stroke size, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the strokes up to maybe um, uh, 7 or 8. Maybe 7 is good to go. And I'm just going to do the same thing with the other one as well. So I'm just going to create a new layer in between both the circles and I'm just going to lock both the layers. Now I'm just going to select the ellipse tool again, select the color that I want. Um, maybe more. And I'm just going to make sure that there's there are no strokes. Now I'm just going to create a circle again. Like this, and I'm just gonna place it right here. Like this. So that we can create a shadow like thing on this cherry, in this cute cherry. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna duplicate this layer and place it above the second ellipse or the circle. I'm just going to select it and place it right here. Now you can resize it because this one is smaller so I'm just going to resize it a little bit and I'm just going to place it in the center like this. Now you can resize it again. Now there are a number of ways you can create shadows and highlights to your objects in Illustrator. Now you have to find the one which works for you. So what I'm going to do for these little lines, I'm going to create a new layer and we don't want to fill, we don't want any fill right here, we just want the lines or just the strokes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unlock one of the cherry layer, I'm just going to select it and I'm just going to go ahead and copy the strokes color code like this. I'm going to lock it again, go back to the new layer, select the pen tool, make sure that the fill part is selected to none and when you go ahead and paste the color code for the stroke and you're good to go. Now that we have our little lines right here, I'm just going to create a new layer again and I'm just going to lock this layer again. Now we are going to create leaves. Now for leaves, we need some color. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a 
dark color again, making sure the stroke is selected. And I'm just going to start, and I'm just going to place this layer underneath the one that we just created. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a cute leaf. Now again, I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer and I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to select pen tool again, but this time I'm just going to select the stroke to none because we don't want no strokes as I'm going to be creating some highlights right here. And also I'm going to select a lighter green color. I think this looks good. Here we have a little shadows and I also want some highlights on my cherries. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the pen tool again. And select the fill to none and I'm going to go ahead and select the stroke color to be white. And maybe four part stroke and we'll see how four part stroke looks like Now you can also um, create white stroke around the cherries and some drop shadow if you want to. So I'm just going to show you how I do that. So for the first thing that I'm going to do is either you merge all the layers. So I'm going to merge, I'm going to be merging all of them together. Merge selected. And here you have the cherries all in one layer. Now for the strokes, what you want to do is just make a duplicate copy of it. Hide, hide it for now. Select the cherries and make sure you're working on a darker um, surface so that we can see how the strokes are going to be. Now just select the duplicated layer and go just make sure that you have this little window right here which is called as pathfinder here i have mine and just go and go ahead and click this little icon which says unite so don't worry because of because that the fill is not really selected i'm just going to go ahead and select it to white color and i'm just going to make sure that there are no strokes for it like this making sure that we have united them nicely now what you want to do is you do want some strokes yeah I, I forgot about it so I, I need 10 part strokes and I want them to be white go ahead to stroke and go ahead and select the round cap round join and align stroke to outside now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select the main cherry layer and i'm going to go ahead and place them right here now i'm just going to select all of what i've got and take it here now you can cannot really see 
uh, the strokes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the white, the white stroke part and go to effect, go to stylize and click on drop shadow. You can decrease the opacity if you want to. Then I'm going to decrease it to up to 50%. This looks good. And you can select the blur as well. I'm just going to increase the blur a little bit. Yeah, I think I like it. Maybe to five. Five is okay. Four maybe. And yeah, I think I like it like this. Okay, so here you have it. Really cute cherry logo or icon, whatever you want to call it. And you can really skip the stroke in the drop shadow part if you want to. But yeah, that's how I make it. And I really hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys the next time.